Hey y'all, there are two places in scripture that I want to go today because we took some time to dig into that passage in um, James. So let's go to Ephesians chapter 2. Mm. That's Philippians. That's why it's not making any sense. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 10. For it is by free grace, God's unmerited favor, that you are saved, delivered from judgment, and made partakers of Christ's salvation through your faith. And this salvation is not of yourselves, of your own doing, and it came not through your own striving, but it is a gift of God, not because of works. It's not the fulfillment of the law's demands. Now, that's where we've we've not separated and delineated the works of the law to earn salvation and works of faith that prove our salvation, our obedience and following Jesus Christ. So verse nine, not because of works, no, it's not the fulfillment of the law's demands, lest any man should boast. It is not the result of what anyone can possibly do. So no one can pride himself in it or take glory in himself. It is a free grace, a gift of God that we are saved. That is not the works that I'm talking about. Our works of obedience prove our faith. They don't earn our salvation, but they prove our faith. And even Jesus, if we go back to Matthew chapter 5, this is the Sermon on the Mount. And he, this is the light chapter where he says, um, verse 13, Matthew, Matthew 5 verse 13, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, its strength and its quality, how can its saltness be restored? It's not good for anything any longer, but to be thrown out and trodden underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. Pause here. What good would a light be if it did not shine? What good is your belief or your faith if it does not do anything for the kingdom? Which is what James was saying here. Your faith without works of obedience is dead. And in Mark 16, what we just read, Jesus said that these attesting signs would follow them who believe. These are works of obedience that prove our faith. Um, so back to this. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do men light a lamp and put it under a peck measure, but they put it on a lamp stand and it gives light to all in the house. The purpose, the purpose of that new life that you have, the purpose of your faith is to demonstrate, I'm getting ahead. <laughs> so in verse 16, he says, let your light so shine before men that they may see. The signs and the, the attesting signs and the proof of your faith is not so much for your benefit, but it's for the unbelievers, those who do not yet know Jesus as their Lord. It says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your moral excellence and your praiseworthy, noble, and good deeds. And what will happen when they see those things from your life. It says they will recognize and honor and praise and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Our acts of obedience, our works of faith, draw attention to the Father. They glorify Him. And just like we read in that that Mark um, chapter 16, I love the, the way that that is worded so much. In that Jesus told him, Any, if you do these things, he said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. He that believeth and is baptized um, will be saved, but he who does not believe um, will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. 
And then the very last verse says, And so they went out, and they preached, and the Lord kept working with them, confirming the message, proving the message by attesting signs, miracles that closely accompanied it. And our lives should be the same. This is our model. This is our layout. And our faith should be proven. We should prove that we love Jesus. Prove that we follow him. How do we do that? We need to know what his word says. We need to know what his commands are. That takes us back to like <laughs> Psalm 1-2, where our delight and desire are in the law of the Lord. And on his precepts, teachings, and instructions, we habitually ponder, study, and meditate by day and by night. So that... Our way will be made successful, and that success proves the goodness of God. It proves our belief and our trust in Him, and it makes the world recognize our Father. We'll pick up here next week. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.